the heart of the Bandia Reserve, about 60 kilometers from Dakar, is one of the last baobabs that houses griot remains. Singers, instrumentalists and storytellers, griot are considered masters of knowledge and keepers of historical records across generations. We put griots in baobabs because they're considered sages. They're the ones who reorient the community when there are problems. Griots are the repositories of knowledge. If they were buried underground, it would be as though we were burying our history. And we can't do that because knowledge enlightens our future. The baobab is considered a sacred tree that symbolizes longevity and knowledge, an appropriate place to store the remains of griot. But for a barbab to become a tomb, it has to meet special criteria. It's essential to choose a baobab tree that isn't inhabited by spirits. The tree must also be easy to access. Then we perform a ceremony asking our ancestors to guard the baobab. To prevent desecration of these holy sites, the bones are found in barbabs in public sites have been moved. People came from all over the world. Some would use the bones of our ancestors for their own practices. We, the descendants, were unhappy and decided to move the bones to a secret place. That's why baobabs that still contain bones are rare. In 1962, Senegalese President Leopold Sendar Senghor banned the burial of griot in baobabs because of the health risks associated with the decomposition of bodies. Today, the remains of these traditional musicians are kept in cemeteries built exclusively for them. Burial Oro for CGTN.